Fourteen people with HIV in France are apparently faring well after being taken off medication. An HIV-infected baby in Mississippi appears to have no signs of the virus after intensive drug treatment. And most famously, an American with HIV living in Berlin was apparently cured after receiving two bone marrow transplants, the so-called Berlin patient. Could you tell us a little bit about some of these cases? I think people have been reading a lot about them without getting the, the deeper end of it. Yeah, the reason I wrote the story is because so many headlines said cure, and it's important for people to understand that this is not, you should not assume that AIDS is over, you should not assume that there is a cure, you should not assume that there is an end of an epidemic. What's been discovered is that Unusual people in unusual circumstances may get into situations where they can control their virus without drugs. There are long-term non-progressors, people who, for genetic reasons, are able to control to suppress the virus on their own. Mm -hmm. um, the, neither the Mississippi baby nor the Visconti cohort, which is 14 patients in France, um, were able to do that. What had happened in both those cases is they got on full heavy-duty antiretroviral treatment very early on in their infections, and later, for various reasons, they came off that treatment and the virus did not make a comeback. But one of the difficulties with knowing whether or not these people are cured is the fact that the virus hides in, in reservoirs in the, in the body. Yeah. What, what, what are the reservoirs? Unlike the flu virus, which gets into a cell and then sort of breaks apart and you have a lot of virus floating around inside the cell, um, HIV actually integrates itself into the DNA of the cell um, and can stay there without spitting out any more virus. It can just stay there in the DNA for a long time. Now, we've known that in the blood cells. It turns out there are reservoirs deeper and deeper and deeper in the body, tissues sort of farther away from the surface blood that can develop these reservoirs. Um, you, we have, that's the reason there's no cure for AIDS because no, there's never been a drug that can get into and kill all the virus when it, it, it's in that reservoir state. So th this is part of the reason they're so reluctant to use this word is that we don't know if the virus still lingers somewhere deep in the body, somewhere in these reservoirs. And if it could activate itself later. Really? It, 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 it is not known. It does yeah. not seem to be happening, but it's very hard to know. So y your contention is that a part of the lesson that people should be learning here is that more aggressive outreach is required, that that's what these cases are teaching us. Get people in for testing, and then once tested, if they're positive, get them on the treatment fast.